Hi, I'm Audrey Thomas, founder of Organized Audrey, and today's productivity pointer has to do with a calendar feature in Microsoft Outlook. There's two calendar features that I want to sh demonstrate with you. In just a moment, you're going to see my actual screen on my computer, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. But the first tip is this, how to jump quickly ahead or backwards on your calendar on a particular date. And the second tip is how to add a second time zone in your calendar. Um, when you look at your calendar day, you can see your time zone along the left side of your screen. But there's a way that you can add a second time zone there, which is really handy if you're working with a customer in another time zone, or maybe even you've got a child um, studying abroad for a semester. And so I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. In today's video tip, I'm going to demonstrate two features in Microsoft Outlook's calendar. The first one has to do with how to jump ahead in your calendar, and the second feature has to do with adding a second time zone right here in this area of your calendar. So first off, I'm going to give you a scenario. You and I are on the phone and you're planning a conference for next January, and you ask me, Audrey, what is your availability? Instead of going up here to this little arrow and pushing until I get all the way to January, what I could do is go right up here into the ribbon and you'll see this section right here and the phrase go to. And I'm going to click on that little down arrow. And now in this area, instead of putting an actual date, I'm just going to type in the word January and hit my enter key and it's going to automatically advance me to next January so I can quickly and easily see what I have available. Likewise, it will go backwards if I want to just put in today's date or put in March 21st, 2016, it will take me back to this spot in my calendar. So that will save you some time rather than using these little arrows up here. The second feature I want to talk about is how to add that second time zone on your calendar. Some of you are going to find this to be very helpful, especially when you're working with clients in another time zone. So it's real simple. We go up here and we click on the word file right up here in the ribbon and we go down to options. And now we're going to click on calendar. And you will see we have lots of options over in this section and we're going to scroll down to where it says time zones. I have my time zone listed as Minneapolis just by MSP, but I'm going to add a second time zone. Right now I have a client in San Francisco by the name of Acme. So I'm going to just list it as Acme. I'm going to scroll until I find Pacific Time. Press OK. And now I have that client added to my calendar. Hopefully you will find these two particular features helpful in saving yourself time. And um, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.